Hi, Arya. It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we went out to the Hinterlands and slayed some Silver Mane Stalkers and some Silver Mane Howlers for our good friend here, Huntsman Markor. After we did that, he was pleased, gave us over a gold for that quest, and today we're going to do another quest for him here. Who you be? And we are going to do the quest Hunt the Savages. Among the more ornery of the wildlife of the hinterlands are the savage owl beasts. Many a good raven tusk warrior has been lost to the ferocious claws and beak of the beast. Kill every savage owl beast you see, Torrin. Return to me when you can stand no more bloodshed. Your contribution will then be weighed, measured, and judged. Hunts of Markor at Raisin Tusk Village in the hinterlands wants you to slay 20 savage owl beasts. Return to him once the task is complete. Looks like they occupy the wilds of the hinterlands, and he'll give us a gold 40. Seems like the gold amount is going up now. Up, up here for each quest, which I enjoy. Because we, uh, I don't think we need the gold, but the gold will be good to use when we want to upgrade our gear. So let's do this quest, Hunt the Savages. I remember seeing them yesterday. They're kind of around here, near the Creeping Ruin in the middle Kind of in the middle of uh, of the hinterlands, so we'll head there and we'll start slaying these albies. Let's track the quest. We'll shift left click here. We have to slay twenty of them. It's not too bad, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. I think we'll get a decent amount of XP there. Should get at least, I think, three bars. I'm hoping. Be nice if we could start getting three bars per quest, especially these ones where we get to slay mobs. So let's climb up here. The classic WoW community is is up in arms right now over the bot situation. They're attacking Blizzard as we speak. The memes are going crazy on Reddit. been a funny couple of days and I don't blame them the bots are pretty bad people just run into uh, trees and posts and they don't even care and they don't get banned but if you say something bad in chat you'll get banned right away <laughs> I think uh, bots should get the same treatment you know what I mean and supposedly private servers did a better job and they used to uh, inform the players on how many bots they banned in the day. And that would be awesome if Classic uh, Blizzard did that. And it's kind of a shame that private servers may be doing a better job at dealing with bots than Blizzard. It's kind of a surprise because there's only like a handful of people dealing with... Uh, Dealing with the bots in uh, those private servers. And then for Blizzard, you know, they're like a huge company. Tons of funds. You think this would just be a joke for them, you know? Just hire some GMs, but maybe that would cut into their bottom line. And they're just not down for that. The thing is, the players are going to keep on playing. It doesn't matter, you know what I mean? They know that. They know they got us. They know we're addicted. So they don't care. They're working too much on Shadowlands right now to care about Classic WoW. That's what I think. And I don't think layers are going away. I think layers are here to stay, guys. Which is also something that I don't... I don't mind, but I don't really enjoy it. That just makes body even worse. So yeah, these Alphys aren't that bad. It seems like we're going to chew these guys up. Already got two slain. Let's heal up here. Here we go. 
Some griffins here too. Surprised these albies don't do any druid moves like moonfire or anything like that. You know, you'd think they would do some caster abilities like the moonkins do. The moonkin druids. Some vibrant plume. Got a got a razor beak skylord on us. No. He might be in trouble. These guys aren't that strong either, it seems. See what what I think I should I think the, the best way to do these quests, it seems like all of these monsters are in the same zone, so. If you are, are ever doing these quests here, I would recommend just picking up all the quests at once. Because you could probably finish them all in a reasonable amount of time. Because I could slay, you could slay the Albies and the, and the wolves you slayed last episode. All in one. It's just that I didn't know that uh, all these quests would be linked together like this. But the Hinterlands has been fun. I've been enjoying it. Good quests. Getting a lot of XP. I never complain when we get that. Heal up a little bit here. Get a little rejuve going. But yeah, I hope they deal with the bots. I, you know, it's one of my theories is... The plan is to make botting so bad in Classic. So when... Uh, Shadowlands comes out... We all just go play Shadowlands. <laughs> I think that's the plan. Everyone just gets fed up and they're like, Okay, enough of Classic. I'm playing Shadowlands. Or maybe they want us to buy Shadowlands. Maybe that's the plan. There's got to be a reason why they're not dealing with bots. They could easily deal with bots. They've done it before in retail. Multiple times. So there's no reason why they can't do it in Classic. The problem is people just get new... Like, the, pro the problem with Classic WoW is you don't need... You don't really need an account. You just get, you don't need to buy the game to play it. You just need to subscribe. So anybody can just make an account, subscribe, and then bot. Which sucks. That's why there's probably a lot of botting. So it's like in China... They banned over 130,000 bots. That's insane. Supposedly gold is very cheap over there too. Like so cheap that it might not even be worth it for the bots to farm. So supposedly... They may be migrating over here where the gold prices are still pretty good. And it makes sense why people buy gold and stuff. Gold is a big part of uh, Classic WoW. You really need it if you want to raid. You have to either farm it or... Get it. You have to get gold. Because um, raiding is not cheap in Classic WoW. Spending at least, I don't know, depending on the raid, like if you guys don't wipe, if you guys don't wipe, you're not spending too much. You're be spending like 20 gold. But if you're wiping a bit, you could be spending up to, up to 100 gold a raid, which is a lot. A lot of gold to farm in one week. It's rough.
Okay, we have primitive owl beast here. Steel. I want to pull two at the same time. And the way I've been farming gold in this game has been selling ports. Might need to find a new way soon. A new mage has entered the market with a better ping than me. So I may have to find a new way to make gold. I don't mind. This means I'll actually have to kill mobs now. It's not bad. I still get ports off of the person, but uh, it's going to take just, I don't know, the gold's not worth it. It's a little low. And I'm kind of at the point right now where uh, I'm playing retail as well at the moment. Because I want to get the AOTC achievement before uh, for, the, for the, the new raid that's out. The Nihilotha raid. I want to get that before Shadowlands comes out. So I've gotten every AOTC for BFA. I kind of want to end it off getting uh, getting it again. It takes some time though. Am I getting it? Well, these are primitive Albies. So I'm not getting anything for these guys. I never knew there was different kinds of owl beasts. Well, there you go, guys. If they're not savage, they're not worth it. That guy's a primitive. That guy's primitive. Where's the savage? Oh, well, this is rough. Where's the savage owl beasts? I was like, how do I still have five slain? I've slain like ten. That's another primitive owl beast. Primitive, primitive. Okay, well, we found five savage ones back here. Towards, uh... I think that... It gets easier the more west you go. So I guess we'll have to hang out around here. So this is where I think all of the Hardcore Albies, Savage Albies, sir. I didn't know there was two different types. Well, that's good to know. So don't waste your time, guys. Slaying, uh, the wrong Albeast, like I just did. Should probably mount up until we find, like, a good zone. Slay these guys. So we'll pop up here. Hop on a brown Kodo. I think they're down around here. Most likely. Gotta watch out for these wolves too. Oh. Almost ran into one. Oh, there's, okay, there, that's primitive. Come on. Can't be primitive everywhere. Come on. That's terrible. How about you? You savage? Nope, another primitive. Where are the savage owl beasts? That's where all the trolls hang out. Maybe they're to the north. It's kind of weird how there's two different ones. They look they look exactly the same. Creeping ruin has tons of slimes in it. Or oozes, whatever you want to call it. Green sludge. Oh, come on. 
He's gonna knock me off my mount, isn't he? I don't know where these guys are. This is looking pretty unfortunate right now. Do we have our herbalism up? Maybe we should turn it on while we're out here. Probably some good herbs here. Purple lotus over here. Where all these green sludges are. What's over here? Sun grass? Start looting that. There it is right there. This guy's gonna ruin our sun grass farm. Can't believe, uh... Can't find any owl beasts. Oh, there's, there's owl beasts. But they're not all savage. Maybe I just have to keep slaying them and then, like, a savage one will spawn? Like, I don't know. It makes you wonder, guys. It really does. It makes you wonder where these guys... I don't I remember where... I think it was just right here. This is where all the Albies are. They're all primitive. I'm just going to start slaying them. What about that one? They're all primitive. Like, this guy's not going to give me anything. Which sucks. No, we'll just hang out here and we'll just keep slaying him. I think that might be a good idea. I don't know. See, I didn't get anything for that. Savage owl beasts. I can't really tell you where they are. But I guess we'll just keep on slaying these uh, primitive ones. And then maybe a savage one will spawn? Like, I don't know where else to go. Is that one a savage? Like, everyone here is primitive. I wish I got this. I wish I paid attention a little bit more when I first started slaying. Let's get rid of all the primitive ones. Then maybe the savage ones will come up us out of nowhere. Maybe there's a cave I need to go to. I just think they're higher level, the savage albies. That's my guess. Scroll of intellect. Start using these scrolls. That's a middle act now. It gives us a little bit more man. Another primitive owl beast here. I swear, this is where I started fighting them, right here. Oh, we got a nice, uh, it's a pretty nice dagger, the monkey. Not bad at all. For level 39. Dagger might be worth something. It's not blue, though, which is a shame. The reason why I think it's worth something is because level 39 is the final level of the 30 bracket. So this dagger might be actually pretty nice. But since it's green and not blue, it makes me wonder. Our defense skill went up. We slayed all these primitive ones. It's another primitive owl beast. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Slay the last one. This is the last one we'll slay here. And then we'll try to look for the, the savage ones. But they're, they're clearly not where I'm at.
Getting good XP though, almost 500 per mob. I remember they were around the Griffins. There's another primitive one. I remember fighting them around these Griffins. Another primitive. Another primitive owl beast. Going kind of in a circle here. I want to go east. Because I think that's where they all were. The more I go west, it seems... Uh, Stay primitive. I've probably slain over 20 primitive Albies right now. They always got to put a spin on their quests, you know what I mean? Just to make them a little bit more annoying. Somebody might have, like, imagine you never looked at this. And you just slayed a bunch of Albies and you go back. And you're like, what the heck? The quest isn't done. I swear I slay 20 of them. The purple Lotus over here. Oh, we got a wolf chasing us. We got a wolf chasing us and somehow he knocked us off. I hate these dogs. Why can't I put a... Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. Let's keep going east. I think we'll find one eventually. Makes me wonder if they're like over here. Cause I remember, uh, let's try to pick this up quick. Get some sun grass while we're here. Okay, that's the savage one. Okay, boom. Okay, we found where the savage guns hang out. There's another savage one. So if you're looking, they're right around here. We went a little too far west, clearly. So here we go. We found the savage albies. They look exactly the same as the primitive ones. Problem now is you kill two at a time. I assume the savage ones maybe have an enrage. Hiding these guys in a circle. Seems like they're hitting me though. This kiting isn't very effective. Ooh, but that ferocious bite was effective indeed. So stay in the eastern side of the map. That's what I assumed it was. Let's see if we can one shot this. Well, one shot. What we missed. Big crit. 640 damage. Let's heal up. Here we go. Let's try to find some more of these savage owl beasts. Good thing they don't stealth. That would make this even harder. Okay, so we found two here. Oh my gosh, these dogs. I'm gonna watch out here. This seems to be dogs only. This area. Getting chased by dogs. Oh, this is terrible. This is, this is what happens when you run around here on a mount. If I get knocked off my mount, good thing I got a war stomp. It saved my life. These dogs are beating me up, guys. I'm gonna war stomp here. Come on, get the regrowth off.
There we go. Get rooted. I got out of the root pretty quick. Savage Albies are rare, man. Really rare. A rare breed, man. Let's see if there's uh there's one. There's two. One or two. Got this dog chasing us again. He's like, creeping up on us. See they like when Okay, get out of get out of here, dog. They like putting the savage owl beasts around these uh Stalkers. Silver main stalkers. So they can trap you. Know? This is a good spot too, right here. Tons of savage albies here, guys. There's another savage albie slain. There's a little regrowth here. Creep up to this savage owl beast. All right. Let's watch out. Let's pull him back here. Seems like the dogs don't hang out around the, the hilly side of the character lance. They're all out there. Yeah, this is where you want to go to find the Alpes. Right here, guys. Right above Shalwatha. Seems to be a ton of them here. More than enough to get this quest done, that's for sure. Watch over this dag. Still waiting on Thunder Fury, though. One more binding off of Baron Geddon, and it might drop today, hopefully. I'm hoping it drops. Don't really know if it will drop, though. You can never be 100% sure. But I hope it drops. It would be awesome if it did. It'd be great to get that Thunder Fury. Waiting over nine months for it. I think it's been one of the longest grinds I've ever had to do in a RPG or an MMO. Only other legendary that I ever got in World of Warcraft was uh, Things of the Father. And that is a rogue legendary that you get from Dragon Soul. Which is a uh, cataclysm raid. Look at all these savage albies. Tons of them here. I don't know why I left this area. I got, into, I got in a rant about bots. And then it led me down, a long, down the wrong path. It took me off my focus. Show you again where they are, right around here. This area. They're around the stalkers. Silver main stalkers. In good amount of XP though, I think we've gotten around two bars. We'll probably hit that three bar mark that I thought we would hit. Not bad, which means if we keep the quests up like this, should be level 48 in close to, let's say, five to six episodes. I thought the quest would take take a long time, and that globaling would start taking a lot longer to get this level. But it hasn't been too bad. 
I'm surprised we get a, even a bar at this level. I could imagine in 50. In the 50s it starts getting really hard. Getting an even one bar quest is like kind of a pipe dream. Maybe. We're in the groove right now. We're in the zone. We found the sp Savage LB spawn. This is like the class that I play in retail. I think I already mentioned this on this episode. I play a boomkin. Looks just like this uh, Savage Elven set up something. Play a Troll Druid. Reason why I like Troll Druid is because uh, Haste is like a big stat. Probably like the most important stat on a Boomkin. And uh, Trolls have a racial called Berserking. And it increases their haste by like a lot, so. Trolls are a great class to be as a balanced druid. I think it's probably still the same in classic, I'd assume. Supposedly balanced druids are just, they have a rough time in raiding in classic due to mana loss. But I think they would be okay, maybe. Because now the fights don't last that long. So if the fights don't last that long, they really don't need to have to worry about mana at all, right? You would think. I think they wouldn't have that many mana problems if the fights only last you know, less than a minute. Any fight longer than a minute is probably pretty rough for a uh, class that runs out of mana fast. Like a belly shaman or a... Balance Truth. Shadow Priest, I think, is in that mix, too. That's why they call them meme specs, guys. Because they run out of mana fast. I pretty much think every other every class is a is a utility class in this game in raiding. And then the main DPS classes are rogues and warriors. And then every other class is just utility. You bring them, bring like either a buff or or some t some type of utility to the raid. I think balanced druids bring spell crit. I know rogues don't bring anything to the raid. They do have this uh, expose armor debuff they can put up. The problem is if they use that spec, they lose a lot of their damage. Starting to lose all these uh, Savage Alpies, though. We only have four more to go. Let's see if we can find them. Oh. Gotta watch out for these wolves. I think they might be around here. Just gotta go around this hill. We might start seeing them again. We hit the jackpot over there, though. We got around six. I think I need to start going a little bit north, though, if I want to find some more. Hinterlands is a nice place, though. It has, like, a fall feel to it. Like the season fall. Kind of reminds me of that season. Okay, well, there's none around here. This hill, this like hill right here, this is like where they kind of all are around, kind of hang out. So let's move up a bit. I guess we'll start going west. We might have to wait for them to spawn again. I hope that's not the case. And that's probably why I started going west in the first place, because I just ran out of owl beasts. But once I start seeing primitives, there's a savage. Then I know I'm in the wrong spot. Alright, there we go.
Got a bunch of giant eggs off of these guys. Probably gonna have to sell when we get back. Or looking a little full. Bags are full at the moment. Which is a problem sometimes, but it's good. So that means you gotta sell some stuff, make some gold. So now we're going a little west. And this is where all the primitive ones are. So I'm gonna stay on this side of the road. And we are going to try to find some more savage albies. So now I'm starting to go a little going into the primitive beast albies song. That's the cool thing about questing. You really get to learn the zones. And you get to see uh, what they're all about. What spawns here, what spawns there. Oh, we got a level 46 dwarf priest. Is he coming for me? He fears me. Oh my gosh, he's going to be good. We're running away though. He's got a huge advantage on us. And we got this guy named Dr. Pumpkin. stop here and get away. See you later, alligator. Is he dispelling me? See you later, Mr. Priest. We're running into this troll camp for some reason. Which is dumb. That was the dumbest move I ever did. <laughs> no, don't let me die. Don't let me die, sir. I'm gonna random. Okay, he's gonna die here. They should all attack him now. I hate that guy. That was dumb. Why do you have that level 60 around him? But hey, at least we got 390 experience for discovering Gin Alpha Lore. Right? So it wasn't a complete waste. I don't know, that priest just. I don't know, he ran. The fears. I hate fear. I have to admit it. I think it's like the best CC in the game. And I hate it. It's evil. It fears you into mobs, and then once you get feared into mobs, you get, I don't know, you just get ruined. Look at Dr. Pumpkin. This guy has a, an escort. Must be nice. Must be nice having an escort. This guy has a level 60 escort with him. That's what kind of worried me too. I'm like, okay, well... I don't think there's any chance I can win this fight. This guy has a level 60 escort. Yeah, we got off on a, on a bad start. The, the AoE fear is really... Psychic Scream? It's a powerful move. Getting feared into mobs that start hitting you sucks. Right, let's deal with these Savage Owl Beasts again. They're starting to spawn back. We're almost at three bars here. I think the next three we'll have the uh, use a bandage here. Get our health up. Come on, there's got to be owl beasts around here, guys. Spawn rate's really low, it seems, on these owl, savage owl beasts. So I'll buff up, and we'll go for a little... Get on our mounts and run around. They, do, they don't seem to uh, have spawned back yet. There doesn't seem to be many of these guys. Probably a, an endangered species. Yeah, we'll 
keep going around here. Eventually we'll find some. We only need two more. Is that level 60? Wasn't with that priest. I'd probably go right now and try to find him again for another duel. Maybe we'll do that. Let's go back over here to Jintha... Jinthalore. It's actually a, a place where you get a pretty decent hit trinket here. It has attack power on it also. It's called the Rune Guard Captain Trinket. It's a good trinket to get if you're trying to get some hit early on. Thing is, it's a long quest chain. It takes a lot of time. And usually you have to do it in a group. But it's worth getting. Yeah, this is a rough quest. It's not like there's other... Like, could you imagine there's other people here farming these owl beasts? This quest would be almost impossible to do. I can't even find one. It's making me wonder if I should go across the road. Is that a savage one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, we found another one creeping around here. This will be our 19th owl beast. Can we just keep one more? the last one right there. Let's go get him. This guy should get us our third bar. Close to it. Didn't get the crit to finish him off. Well, that was a crit right there. Not a ferocious spike crit, though. Alright, well, let's hearth back to Raven Tusk Village. We'll turn this quest in to Huntsman Markhor. There's Lard hanging out. Hey there. Hunt the savages. You have proven a worthy ally to the Raven Test flag carrier. Well done. Here is your gold. 40 silver. Later. Looks like this guy is a hunter. He'll stable your hunter pets for you. There's another Torn Druid here doing the moonwalk. Seems various. Let's sell this stuff here. See what we picked up. Get rid of this ham steak. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of those eggs. I guess we'll keep the dagger. Might as well. I'm going to get rid of the silk cloth. I don't really want that. Keep this. Put that there. There we go. We got eight slots. It's not too bad. But that is the end of the episode, guys. We slayed a bunch of savage albies today. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.